Hello, I'm Jovan Johnson. Mayor of Kingston, Andrew Swabe, says he has called in the organizers of Sunday's carnival road marches over the filthy new Kingston streets in St. Andrew that greeted residents and motorists on Monday morning. The meeting with Exodus, Gen X and Yard Mass Bands is set for Tuesday. The Area 3 Narcotics Police destroyed about 1,000 pounds of approximately $10 million worth of ganja during an operation in St. Elizabeth on Friday. They say the ganja was found hanging in bushes to dry in Little Park District. There were no arrests. Attorney at Law and Deputy Clerk Colleen Lowe has been appointed clerk to the Houses of Parliament following the retirement of Valerie Curtis. Ms. Lowe was called to the Jamaican Bar in 2014 and worked at the Electoral Commission of Jamaica as a legal officer before she took up the Deputy Clerk job at Parliament in May 2022. A parallel diaspora conference has been announced by organizers for June 16 to 19, coinciding with the Government of Jamaica's 10th Biannual Jamaica Diaspora Conference to be held in St. James. Organizers of the online conference, Dr. Rupert Francis and Wilfred Rattigan, who have been critical of government policies, say their event will focus on crime, corruption and healthcare. In sports, Javain Bryan's 69th-minute goal sealed Waterhouse's place in the Jamaica Premier League playoffs after a 1-0 win over Harbourview at the Drewsland Mini Stadium on Sunday. Waterhouse secured the sixth and final spot on goal difference ahead of Montego Bay United, who defeated Tivoli Gardens 2-1 to finish level on 43 points. In your currency trading, at midday today, one US dollar was being sold for $155.55, the British pound sterling for $197.95, and the Canadian dollar for $116.82. In your weather forecast, Tuesday should be partly cloudy. And that's it for the Gleaner Minute. Remember to follow us on X, formerly Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, and like, comment, and share on YouTube. I'm Jovan Johnson.